It didn't take long for Governor Whitmer to talk about the state of our roads during last night's State of the State. But Lansing insiders are split on the roads talk and whether it will lead to real solutions. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester is live tonight. And Hank, uh, you were there last night as the governor talked about this so much on the campaign trail and now as she's in office. Yeah, Jason, no doubt about it. I mean, she laid out the plan and the problem, I and mean, we see the problems every day. Take a look here behind me on Fort Street in downtown Detroit. You see potholes everywhere. Uh, during the speech last night, the governor said she wanted to hear from Michigander. She wanted to see photos on Twitter using, using the hashtag, hashtag FTDR, Fix the Damn Roads. Well, take a look. Uh, we did a glimpse on Twitter today. You can see the pictures that were posted. Uh, tire that was busted on I-75 because of potholes. Another situation with a big pothole on Fort 14 mile and Ryan at Sterling Heights and also somebody posting this image having a little fun with the problems in our state. You talk to lawmakers though in Lansing and they were divided on how the governor handled the road situation last night. The governor mentioned the roads early on and encouraged you to get involved. Take a picture of your damaged car or your repair bill or the pothole outside your house and post it with the hashtag FTDR, and I think you know what that stands for. But some of her fellow lawmakers wanted to learn exactly how the roads are going to be fixed. Not a shock, the Republicans were disappointed. She had a lot of stories about what she wants to do, but we know the specifics. So I think the devil is in the details, and when she actually gives us a plan, then we can actually weigh in. She went ahead and ran on the principle that, hey, I'm going to fix your damn roads. Well, then tell me how, because I haven't seen the blueprint nor the money to back up that blueprint. She should have fleshed out a bit about how we're going to pay for all of this, but I suppose that will come with the budget. Well, I think that was the interesting thing. She didn't really explain how she was going to fix the roads. No. She just reminded us that the yeah. roads are bad. Well, and I thought it was a little bit interesting. As her first state of the state, I thought she could have been a little more upbeat. Uh, she started out saying how bad the infrastructure was. We got that. And our schools are failing. We sort of got that. But how are we going to pay and, you know, what are some of the details? Democrats more optimistic that the plan will come together soon. The budget will be uh, her, her saying this is how we're going to do it. And we'll wait to see what that is before we... Uh... But for somebody whose campaign really was built around fix the damn roads. I think I think some people were hoping to hear a little bit about what the actual plan is going to be. I think the I think the problem is when you get into the job, you realize how bad the situation really is. What the governor was trying to position was the idea that instead of paying for bad roads, let's talk about investing in good roads. But even some Democrats were hoping for more substance on the roads last night. Did you want to hear some specific information about the plan? Yes, I mean, we need to know how we're going to pay for it and how we're going to uh, enact those changes. So when are we going to hear about the actual plan? Well, the governor said last night during her speech that this would all be rolled out when she has her budget proposal, and that is slated for early March. We're here in downtown Detroit tonight. Hank Winchester, back to you. And we're always at this question, Hank, how do we pay for it? And a lot of people assume if we're going to fix this right, we're going to have to pay for it somehow. Is anyone speculating on what those details might be? And Jason, it really depends on who you talk to, but there are many who believe that we are going to be looking at a tax, possibly an increase on the gas tax, but right now nothing is final. Many Republicans saying last night they're not going to go for it, but we'll have to wait to see how it all plays out. We'll see. Absolutely. All right, Hank, thanks.